the money's worth there. Good morning, happy people. What are we up to today? We've headed north. We're not far from Pickering. We're at the NY 500 Cafe. Just stopping off. And today we're going to be doing uh, another one of Simon Weir's routes. It's the uh, North Yorkshire Moors. Yeah. It's in the Britain for Bikers book. I'll give you the details in a bit. I'll bob you a flash of the pages up and all on the screen. But uh, yeah, we just stopped off here just for so much to drink. And then we've already done, what, 60 miles. But uh, the loop's, I think, 59, 60 miles in total. But uh, yeah, we'll see you at the start of it. This is where this is where we'll be coming out. So we've actually started it now. That was the road that we'll come out when we've done the loop. So welcome back, happy people. We're uh, actually on the route now. We're on the A170. We've just come from Pickering on the A170, and we're just going to be going through Kirkby Moor side. But John Shook is with me today, and um, Fiji. Here we are, Kirkby Moor side. Yeah, so this is another route by Simon Weir. It's, uh, it's in the Britain for Bikers book. Uh, it's on uh, page 125 and it is route number 54. I'll, I'll pop you a picture up now anyway to show you the route that we're doing. 58 miles in total around the North Yorkshire Moors. And no doubt there'll be some wonderful scenery for us to have a look at. We are going to be stopping off at Hel Helmsley. It has actually taken us about 70 miles to actually get to the start of this loop from where we all live. Saying skid risk, but I think it's been resurfaced quite a while, hasn't it? It's not really a lot of loose chippings, is there? I hope the TT road ain't covered in gravel, like the North Yorkshire Mars TT road. Yeah, that's the next road we go on. Yeah, from Elmsley up to, is it Guysborough? We're on it for 19 and a half miles. Meant to be a top road though. Elmsley! Yep, there we are in Elmsley. Chip is on the left, just up here, John. Is it? Yeah. There's the marketplace where you all park there. You can park there, yeah. In front. There's, look, fish and chips on the left. Oh, I. Oh, better off going there, aren't I? Well, that is where the motorbikes are parked, look, but there's not a lot of spaces, is there? Jesus. Jeez. Here. A few bikes here, isn't there? Well, couldn't you have gone a bit further on? No, because there's a big dip. I'll let you pull forward if you want. I don't want to park on a manhole. Busy, isn't it? Clear. This is a beautiful little place. It is, isn't it? It is nice. Isn't it? Absolutely. <coughs> Apart from it's not very good for bike parking with traffic wardens. <laughs> no, he was asking where he was off next. What the traffic warden was? Lim, he asked him next to me, yeah. He doesn't seem that bothered then, does he? No, he's always going. Yeah, we just stopped off at Hel Helmsley there, just for a bit of a break, and uh, the other two, Shuckers and uh, PG, went to chip shop, get some chips and it won't even open. So, that's good. But they did go to a baker's, and uh, I should have taken a photograph of them sandwiches. It was, geez, it was just like two bread loaves, just cut in half with some ham chunks in between. Massive. A slight exaggeration. It's not an exaggeration at all, John. It was two bread loaves, you had one each, cut in half with a bit of a salad in it. Like a large bat. Jesus. Look at the viewers, you just come over there. It's opening up now. Beautiful. Look 
at what we're surrounded by, bloody gorgeous. Yeah, this B1257 that we're on, I think it's known as the TT Road, isn't it, John? Yeah, it is, yeah. This road's got to be the highlight of the route, hasn't it, really? Yeah. The other one's good coming down, though, but not uh, flowing like this one. plotted this route um, out of the book obviously but uh, followed the route round using uh, my route app. He then shared it with me which you can do you can have shared folders. Hey up it's he, raining. Got... Is it raining? Yeah. Told you didn't I? Yeah John plotted it in my route app and then uh, shared it with me. I then uh, imported it into Garmin Basecamp just added a, little, a couple of little things to it so we're just comparing whether we're uh, our sat navs which we've both got the BMW Navigator 6s whether they both stay uh, on the route okay and uh, so far so good both navigators following it to a T what's this little place I didn't see any signs did you yeah there was one yeah. book in here it comes, it's going to chuck it down. BBC weather app's right for a change, bloody hell. It's early. Would... Now it did say 1 o'clock 25% and uh -huh. then uh, 2 o'clock 40 something percent. I was going to say otherwise we'd be heading back down out of the way of it if it was half two star. Sun's coming out again. Yeah well the rain stopped hasn't it? You could be anywhere in the bloody world here couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> with his surroundings it could be like abroad well you couldn't be in ice well Antarctic yeah. that wasn't that spot you wanted was it yeah don't matter you just park up and you look out you get a brilliant view it's probably be all a bit uh, of a cast anyway, John, won't it? Yeah, that was the Claybank car park that we was going to stop at and look out over all the uh, scenery. Just starting to rain again. Just give the lens a bit of a wipe with the old finger, John. It might have some rain spots on it. just really near Stokesley now and we're just going to uh, hang a right take the fourth exit off this next circle and we'll be riding onto the A173 here we are up the circle ahead roads are wet aren't they you want Steve Roads are pretty wet, although it's quite dry in the middle. Like a mini volcano over there. Oh, I know, I've, I've, I've made a note of what that's called actually. Which is that? Hey? Which is that? A hill called Roseberry Topping. It's got like a rocky bit at the top. Great Ayrton. Is the name of this little place. Boyhood home of Captain Cook. Oh yeah. It's 
famous this place then. We've got a little green there. Look at that house on the right, we're like a bit of a turret. Yeah. That's been a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, there's a cracking view now, look at the uh, Rosebury topping. Yeah. That takes some getting to top off. This looks a quaint little boozer on the right hand side, doesn't it? King's Head. Oh look, bloody lovely. Right, here you now take the third exit and we're moving on to the A171. Heading east towards Whitby. This is a bit main roady, isn't it? Only on it for seven miles up. Look at that bloody scenery. You can see for miles. You've got the miles one side and then a different scenery the other side. Yeah, you have, haven't you? One's like all that heather stuff in it and that. We're that must be a big reservoir there then. Yeah, we're to we hang a right here, don't we, on this minor road. To Hutton yeah. the Hall. Don't miss it people if you're gonna do this route. Yeah, there must be a reservoir on the right, Steve. Lockwood Beck Reservoir that. Massive. Look at this, we're in the middle of bloody nowhere now, aren't we? Getting some views now. You keep breaking up, John, I can't really hear you. I said we're getting some views. Yeah, look at that, Jesus. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. Just for miles, isn't it? What a cracking road this is. I'd recommend this one to people, John. Yeah. Look at that, wow. Simply stunning, it deserves one of them. There we go, it's dreaded cattle grid here, I think, John. That looks bloody lovely, bathed in sunshine. Well, the routes have been bob on, John, aren't they? Both from your My Route app and my uh, Garmin Base Camp. Yeah, so. Followed them to a T. So, that little experiment's worked well. Yeah. Wait for it, wait for it. Here's Castleton now. Nice little bridge. Yeah. Get over here, stupid kid. Yeah, you could say the weather's been changeable today. Another quaint little place. Yeah, now you come to a T junction in Castleton and you want to be hanging a right. What's happened to me sat nav? Why has it gone off? Yeah. You want to be go. you want to be right here, John? Don't know what that was. We are actually heading back to the A170 now, and that's back to the start. The starting point that we were past coming. Ah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Another parking spot where you'd view it, I'll bet. Yeah, recommend this, happy people. Get you certain on the North Yorkshire Moors route. Only 58 miles long, but uh, thoroughly enjoyable. Oh, we have got this year's caravan trip booked now, uh, people. Four of us going. Myself, Muzzy, Russ and Shuckers. The four that went to Wales. Regrouping for another 
week of biking. We're headed north again, but not quite into Scotland. We're going to a place called Cresswell, which is just yon side of Newcastle, on the east coast. Am I clear, John? Yeah, you're clear. Thank you. Bye. Me and PG did this one a few weeks ago. What, this route? This bit. Oh, this road? This, yeah, but we came from Utley all the way up and then went to Whitby. Ah, right. So you come up this one, whereas we're going down it? Yeah, but we cut across. We didn't do the top Whitby road, we cut across. Right. This is gorgeous though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice up here. So many great places in the UK to ride a bike if you know where you're going. If you get the weather. If you get the weather, yeah, that's another good point, mate. Yeah, so going back to the holiday, we've got uh, a Park Dean 8 berth caravan again for the four of us. Based in Cresswell, it's... Um, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, it's Cresswell, Cresswell Towers Holiday Park. That's where we're staying. That's going to be base camp. And then um, from there, I've already done uh, four routes um, because you you like uh, got Northumberland National Park on your doorstep up there. Now that cross there is called. It's got a name. I'll pop it up on the screen. Because that's Young Something Cross. And then somewhere around here there's an old one. That one's ten foot tall. There's an old one that's about five foot tall. Got tree of knowledge, me. That's a good view to your left. I know, isn't it? Amazing. I, th I think... Do you reckon that's... A, I think is it's... that some old workings over there, look? Oh, you can see like old walling, can't you? Yeah. I think this is the view of a Rosedale, I think. Unless it was a quarry or something. It's big though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, actually, there's two lots, John, isn't there, if you look down? Oh! <coughs> that'd be a good one for the drone, that. It would, wouldn't it? The only thing is, I haven't brought it. I am. I wonder what they are. If I find out, I'll put it up on the screen. Not that Brick I... works. Yeah, some kind of works, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd like to uh, get me drone near them. Yeah, because close up, John, they'll be bloody massive, I bet. Yeah. And then it's on the other side as well. You just ride this road right the way through, just sheer beauty either side. Bloody enjoyed this one. This is as good a good as the one coming up, Steve, but different scenery. Yes, it is, yeah. Just that seven mile bit at the top there, but it's uh, a means to an end, isn't it? You've got to join them somehow. Look how far ahead you can see. Yeah, a few mile, can't you? You can actually see a few mile all around you, can't you? Good view of the road ahead as well, that in it all wind yeah. winding around. Sheepy. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah. Like a bloody snake, innit? Hutton La Hole. We're just uh, coming into, so that means that we are virtually at the end of this. North Yorkshire Moors Loop. This is a nice little village as well. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, Hutton La Hole. Beautiful cottages. There's a good little cafe shop in here, and they do good cake. <laughs> not, that I, not that I know. <laughs> not I was that, just saying. Not that you're an expert on cake shops, John. Not that I'm an expert, Much. but this is beautiful, though. And I think they sell them just here on the left. You don't think, you know, boy. I'm in the Forge tea rooms and ice cream parlour. 
Yeah, I can recommend that. I bet you can. And you get a little jug of cream, I supposedly. You you really ought to do the um, cake tours book or something like that, John. I ought to actually. Tea, because you know coffee them all, and don't cake. you? Yeah. Coffee and cake tour for bikers. Yeah. Yeah, I could actually. Recommend the best best coffees and cakes. I've done a few chippy runs, like you ought to do the cake ones. Because you certainly are a connoisseur on that department. That is a fact. Coffee and cake tours of Great Britain. Yep. <laughs> got a ring to it, mate. Hey, I've got that little black circle now with a P, what you was on about earlier. Have you? Yeah, what is it? Have you got it? Well, I've got I've got something totally different now. Is it a P? Yeah, it's a P. In a black circle? Yeah, what is it? I have no idea. I'll have to Google that, John. <laughs> BG's just said, sat and have his packing up. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to find out what that stands for, or if anybody watching knows, let me know. Yeah, we're nearly at the end of the route. We are, mate. It's now telling me that uh, to my next via point, which is the end of the route, 0 0.9 miles. Which way is it telling you to go? Well, when we get to the end, yeah. left. Yeah, mine's saying right. What, to do it again? I want to be left, don't we? Heading towards Bickering. Yeah. Yeah, so happy people. I hope you've enjoyed riding along with us on the uh, North Yorkshire Loop. North Yorkshire Moors Loop, that is. Highly recommended. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Had a bit of every weather going as we've been going around. But Nice and sunny now. Yeah, so we're uh, just going to hit the A170 again. And that's exactly where we started from. Yeah, this is the road end that we rode past as we came from the left up to there, innit? Yeah. So that's it complete. Like I say, I hope you've enjoyed riding along with these happy people. Until next time, as always, adios. Ride safe. Cheers now.